It's dangerous though, we learned that the hard way. Just because it's small does not mean it's not dangerous. That's what she said. <laughs> Look, you've seen the mini motos. These little bad boys go 45 miles an hour and fit in the trunk of your car. I know, they're badass. But have you seen Micro Moto? Not the mini moto or the Moto Moto. This is the Micro Moto. And it is absolutely tiny. But do not be dissuaded, for it is incredibly powerful from what I've heard because I haven't ridden it yet. So, real quick, let's take a look at this bike. This incredible little bike was upgraded from a Razor Rambler 12 frame, just like you've seen from the Mini Moto, except it's considerably smaller, maybe 30% smaller, which is why I'm calling it the Micro Moto. This was built by Domo here in Southern California. If you've been watching the channel, you've seen his Tesla and the world's fastest Razor that he's built. He does great work. This is probably the most simple build I've ever seen him do. It's really just the powertrain upgrade on the stock Rambler frame. So let's go ahead and check it out. I hear it's incredibly powerful. It's got 5,000 watts. It's running a 72 volt battery and a 72 volt motor. This is the smallest bike I've ever seen a 72 volt powertrain on. So I'm really excited to see how it rides, especially see how it wheelies. I'm only a couple weeks out of the cast. So I'm gonna take it a little easy, but I'm definitely gonna send it on this thing. I can't wait, let's go check it out. Okay, here we go with the Micro Moto. Step one, pick up the Micro Kickstand, so tiny. Super simple, just turn the key on. I'm at 79 volts. Let's rip. Oh my, oh my God, this is powerful. Whew. Oh my God. I have to hug it and lean forward or I will do a backflip. This is by far, I need both hands on it, by far the most, the highest power to weight ratio I've ever seen on an e-bike. By far. I'm probably touching one sixth of the throttle right now and I'm going fast and I'm low to the ground. But also I feel very like stable and controlled too. All right, here we go, full throttle. Okay, all right, all right. We're full, we're full, we're full throttle right now. Sorry, I can't even talk because it's kind of scary. We're going maybe 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna pull out my uh, phone right now. Let's give this a proper test in the sunset. It's so beautiful. I know it's a GP. This is like impossible to ride. Oh, I know it's a GPS, but oh my God. But it's the best I got right now. Here we go, full throttle. Into the sunset, hopefully I make it out alive. Ooh, a little downhill too, that helps. Definitely maxing out the tune right here. Fuck the stop sign. I'm really curious what that top speed was. Let's check it out. All right, it's saying top speed 33. I don't believe that. Either because it's smaller and it feels faster because of that, or the app's wrong. I think the app's wrong, but right now we've got confirmation for 35 miles an hour. Or was it 33? 33.5, that's it? Oh my God, I literally can't. You have to feather this throttle so incredibly much. Oh, oh, you see that wheelie? <laughs> Sorry, I'm yelling. Oh. oh, I just fucking destroyed my foot on this peg. Ow. Oh. Damn, I just felt both my ankles doing that. Ow. Shoes be looking clean, though. Ow. Oh, damn, both my ankles, too. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna need a minute. 15 minutes later. Wow, well that put a little bit of a speed bump in this video. So I popped up the wheelie and hit the brake and came down quickly. Both my feet were ended up in front of the pegs. So the pegs went like that on the back of both my feet pretty hard. Um, and this is not just cause I'm trying to show off these new white shoes I got, which I'm hyped on, but I really, I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes kind of just like, I'm gonna keep riding a little bit, but I'm definitely not gonna wheelie this anymore. It does wheelie. It's got this half twist throttle, which I knew would be a problem. The brake's good, it's a Suron brake. And the bike looks sick. <sighs> it was not what I wanted to happen. Let's get back on the bike. Okay, at least I can walk. That was, I mean, cause I just broke my wrist. You can watch the video up here. 
And when that happened, just now, oh my god, I'm actually scared to hit the throttle now. <laughs> I'm scared to ride, to even ride back. But we got it. So I, oh my god, I'm actually like the biggest wimp right now on this. I'm so scared. I just broke my wrist. I got it out of the cast just a couple weeks ago. When that just happened now, I honestly thought I might have just broken both my ankles and I was just like, well, of course. Wouldn't, wouldn't that make sense? Okay, right here we got a little hill climb. It's feeling very powerful. I'm, I, I would keep up with cars if there were any right now. It's a shame I just hurt my ankles because I've been trying to get back in shape and uh, I've been running in the mornings. I'm currently living in a temporary house. I'm in between houses and I live on a big hill. So I've been running up the hill every morning and doing some pull-ups when I get to the top. So, and that's just because I broke the wrist and I wasn't really able to exercise for the last like eight weeks. So I really hope my ankles feel good. I'm trying to get back in, uh, back in the rhythm of exercising every day. Pretty much no other way to make it feel as good. Here we go, chugging up this hill. I'm very, very impressed with this bike. I gotta say I'm scared of it, but more in like a respect way. I respect the bike, okay? I can't tame every beast I, I mount, okay? But I am definitely vibing right now. This thing's so sick. It's so small, but I mean, I'm going, I mean, I would say at least 35 miles an hour the GPS said 33 I would I would doubt that I, especially going downhill but then again maybe it's because I'm low so it feels uh, faster because of that probably does I'm having a blast and this is the kind of thing you could just put in your trunk I kind of want one of these just just always have laying around for like little corner store runs although I would have to change to a full throttle because this is a no-go in my opinion and I would have to retune it. It's way, way, way too aggressive. Ooh, my ankles are throbbing right now. We'll know tomorrow how bad that really was. I'm just glad I can get back. A little scary, not gonna lie. Anyway, absolutely beautiful day here in Southern California, cruising the micro moto. Pretty much the biggest vibe accessible to mankind right here. Look at this cornering ability get out you know I, I even at this speed maybe 28 30 miles an hour if I hit the throttle too hard it wants to pick the wheel up just because it's so small I want to find a motorcycle and like talk to him now I think the cost of this bike all said and done is about $1,300 which might be oh my god I need to stop talking when I'm doing this turn I need to focus <laughs> that might be the best bang for your buck I've seen since the mini moto, right? So the mini moto, you're running about three grand all said and done with all the upgrades. This, it's about half of that, fifteen hundred or thirteen or fifteen hundred. I would say that's a deal. If you're trying to get into messing around with e motos, this is a great way to get to it. Right now, these aren't really available to buy. This is a kit from Electro and Company. I've got a link for them down below. I'm sure you could figure out how to put their kit onto this bike. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's dangerous though, we learned that the hard way. Just cause it's small, does not mean it's not dangerous. That's what she said. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just gonna end this video on this beautiful sunset road, riding the micro moto. Massive vibe. It's beautiful out here. This thing's silent. 
it picks up real quick. Not a single car has passed me and I'm on the main road. Sorry, mom. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. As I don't.